Anyways, micro seed phrase backup. Micro seed engraves your entire Bitcoin seed phrase on a fireproof, waterproof, steel or titanium the size of a coin. I have seen this actually. Uh, do I like it? I'll see, maybe I'll put my uh, review on here right now. Do I like it? Do I like the idea of it? No. Why? Because it's pretty easy to lose that. It's pretty easy to lose that. Imagine going through all the effort of punching that into a nice coin and then you just lose the coin and then all your Bitcoin's gone. I don't like the idea of that. <clears throat> I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? It's a nice steel or titanium, easy to do. Uh, but there's still holes in that stuff. Like I had a conversation with a guy yesterday. He's like, it was a guy who was interested in uh, the 21 sats inheritance plan that we had. And he's like, you're the, you're the only person I've heard explain um, like the problem with storing your seeds on steel. There, there's a lot of them. There's, there's a lot of different things that can go wrong with that. But a couple that come to mind is like a fire. Like just imagine this. I know it's on steel. I know it's on titanium. But let's say that you're gone for the weekend. Let's say that you're gone for the weekend and uh, something happens to your house. Let's say a fire. You're away on vacation. You come back or you get a call. House on fire. Who knows? Forest fire. Somebody started on fire. Electrical fire. Who knows? You come back and there's cops everywhere. There's uh, fire, fire trucks everywhere. There's first responders everywhere. There's tape around the property and you're like well, i need to go in there because uh my bitcoin seed is on a coin somewhere and all the ash is there and this is after maybe a day maybe two maybe three maybe after 400 people have walked by it and a fireman picks it up and puts it in his pocket maybe he knows it has a bitcoin seed on it maybe he doesn't who knows maybe somebody walking by or a tornado comes and rips out uh, the drawer that had the coin in it, and it's 10 miles that way. Like the, the concept of it makes sense, I guess, but you, it's just you got to think through what can go wrong, and that does not protect you against everything. It's a good solution. It just doesn't protect you against everything. And you compare that to the 21 sats, um, inheritance and, and security thing where you have it's distributed in different locations you have qr codes so even if you had one place burned down and your qr code went with it you still have duplicates in other places so it's nice because you don't have to keep it at your house also that's that's another issue with that is like if somebody breaks in your house and puts a gun to your head and says give me your bitcoin you're probably going to go get that coin <clears throat> or die so the nice thing about the other one too is that you don't have to have a trace of Bitcoin at your house. You can keep it all off-site, off location. So yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I don't know. Obviously I'm biased because the service that we have, but the whole reason why I signed up for that service and wanted to work with Craig on it is because it just made way more sense to me. And I'd heard of putting it on steel. I had my seed phrase on steel and I still wasn't sleeping that good because I knew that there's problems with it. Plus it's in plain text. That's the other part too. If somebody finds that coin, they can just read the words off and put it into a wallet. So there's holes in it. And I just don't think there's enough Bitcoiners who are really thinking through um, all of that stuff. So the guy said I was the only one talking about it, but I have to give uh, a lot of props to. Uh, to Craig because he was the one who opened my eyes to the power of uh, encryption. So yes, I talk about it, but it was a solution that I was looking for. It was the solution that I couldn't think of that I needed, which is encryption. Sketchication. Sup. Lots of sups today. Lots of sups in the chat. Renita. Renita, good to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. 
Arson Fire says, hi, I'm new to the channel. Can you tell me the significance of 88 sats? Uh, there's a couple of significance of it. Number one, it's uh, the project that launched the channel, which is uh, we found 88 people to buy some Bitcoin, put it in a multi-sig, and we're going to buy a golf course in 10 years with the sats. So that's what started the channel. And uh, the other part, too, is I'm born in 1988. So that's the significance. There's no uh, nothing crazy there. I made this this morning, though. Speaking of this, I made I came up with this this morning. I saw this picture of a Citadel, and I thought this would be a good meme to have. So I want to know what you guys think about this one. I'm sure there's going to be some people mad, but that's okay. Mostly, uh, mostly Ledger and Tangem users are going to be mad about this. But this is the Citadel. So you can see here, we start at the bottom, the lower level here. Somebody can just jump over, get your Bitcoin. So that's Ledger and Tangem. And then I have an exchange above that, which is probably going to be controversial a little bit. Uh, an exchange, I think, is actually more safe than keeping your Bitcoin on a Ledger or a Tangem. I know. Come at me if you want to. But I think that an exchange is actually safer than a ledger or a tangent. There's been way more people lose their, and it's not even like losing coins, and they might not even have been lost yet. That's the crazy part. Their private key might have been leaked somewhere along the way, and the person who found it might just be waiting to uh, sweep that Bitcoin at some point. So exchanges, yeah, I know they've they've had some issues in the past, and exchanges have gone down. I would exclude Coinbase from this, even though Coinbase is a public company. They're pretty. Uh, I, I shit on Coinbase a lot, but they're, you know, they're not bad. I'd rather. That'd be the question for me. Would I rather keep my Bitcoin on a ledger or in Coinbase? And I would say, just don't either. Don't keep it at Coinbase. Don't keep it on a ledger or tangent. Find a better solution. So there you got the exchange there and then you got a hot wallet. This would be something like Aqua, Moon, um, something like that, Cove. And then you got the cold wallet, another layer of security on top of that because the keys were generated offline. It never touches the internet. Hopefully an, an air gapped one, something that doesn't connect through a USB. And then you put a passphrase on top of that. That's another wall that they got to climb over, passphrase. And then you get into a multi-sig. And you're pretty much living right at the top. I'd say a multi-sig is a very solid solution for uh, keeping your Bitcoin. If you do it properly, there's a lot that can go wrong if you're trying to set up a multi-sig and you don't really know what you're doing. A lot that can go wrong. So if you have uh, the knowledge or the assistance with that, multi-sig is pretty much at the top. But then in the castle, this is the 21 sats encryption. This is the best way to store your Bitcoin. <clears throat> I don't know where a multi or um, micro seed would be on here. I'd probably put it around here. Cold wallet. Passphrase maybe somewhere in between there. The micro seed, but 21 sats, this is where you want to get to. This is where you want to be living. No Bitcoin at your house. Uh, no single point of failure. No private keys in plain text. No KYC. Nobody knows how much Bitcoin you have. Nobody else is holding a key to your Bitcoin. This is the peak. This is what you want to work towards. And keep in mind, if you're here, if you're here, if you're here, don't skip any of these steps. Like, don't feel like you need to go straight to the top. You kind of have to work your way upwards. Take your time. This is a, a very important part of uh bitcoin so that's uh that's the meme that i made this morning is it a meme it's not really funny but i think it gets the point across i thought it was perfect because uh our our company bitcoin citadel and i saw a nice citadel and i was like i could kind of put layers on top of this so this is bitcoin citadel if you need any help with your uh, bitcoin security if you want to learn more about the 21 sats inheritance plan, it's all on there. And uh, yeah, check. I haven't been mentioning it nearly enough on the show, but we've been busy. That's why we've been, uh, 
we haven't been hurting for customers, that's for sure. So there it is, bitcoincitadel.net.